Hey guys, it's Josh with Core for Gaming. Today I'm going to do just a, a quick tips and some ideas just to give you guys a rough estimate of what you might want to do for your airsoft loadout. Today we're going to cover the gun and optics because I have had a problem with this before. And I think all of us have, at some point when you buy an optic, you either get the wrong optic or you realize it's not exactly what you want and so you want to get a better optic. So I'm going to show you three different types of optics and show you how you use them. You have the scope, the long range, like times nine magnification scope. And if you notice, this is just an FNP90. It's probably not the best gun to put a long range scope on because even though, yes, it's a bullpup, it still doesn't have that long of a barrel. So putting a scope on a gun like this is total overkill. Even though it makes it look great, it is really ineffective and frankly won't help you at all in battle. So not the best gun to put a sniper rifle scope on. You put it on a sniper rifle. It's a closed red dot sight. So it has the red dot reticle inside. You turn it on, whatever brightness you want. And yes, it does not look as cool but it is way more effective, probably way cheaper, um, and does the job of the sniper scope, which is keeping the sun out, because that one exposed reticle is very, very easy to see, and it is a lot better than I would say some other um, types of optics in the sunlight. But that, these are probably way better for this, but still, because this is such a CQB gun, and it's really used for CQB, you're not really gonna be making super long range shots with this. I would suggest this on just like a type of rifle, like an M4 or an AK. P90 is fine, but I, I think it would do just a tiny bit better on another gun. We're actually going to be taking long range shots versus this thing. You're just like, I missed. Exactly. Optic number three is the open reticle or open, ref, open reflex red dot sight. And I would say for a P90 or any type of close quarters gun, especially like this, you just pull up and fire. That's, that's the best versus a scope or a enclosed reticle red dot sight. And you might be able to see down that, possibly. Possibly not, somewhere in there. But this is probably my favorite. It looks pretty cool. I mean, honestly, it looks great, but um, it's the most effective. It's probably the cheapest as well. And you really want these on your CQB M4, CQB AK, CQB guns, because you just pull up and fire and you're done. You just Versus that's a sniper scope, you put on a sniper rifle, and that's really just like a rifle scope. You put it on just like your generic rifle. So you have that little bit, you can get that little bit of aim and you want to have the sun glaring back on the screen and getting in your way like this has, that one won't. But this is also way easier just when you go and move out. So, we have the uh, open reflex red dot sight as the one optic. We have closed reflex uh, red dot sight, or maybe like a times two zoom. And then we have the sniper scope, which I have a sniper, I have a CQB gun. They're, they're, I mean, I love all these optics, they're amazing. But I would still prefer that for the P90. So keep in mind, CQB, open reflex. Mid-range, closed reflex to possibly like a two, two or three times zoom. And distance, you will not survive long without a sniper scope. Or get many kills, because honestly, you want a good scope for a good gun. Ugh! Hat! This has been Matt Time. Thanks for watching.